You're about to learn how to create realistic AI avatar videos, have them say exactly what you want, include automated animations and B-roll, and make them speak any language that you need. And stick around because at the end, I'm also gonna be showing you how to create your own custom avatar videos that look and sound just like you. Hey everyone, my name is Alec, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create realistic AI avatar videos. And without wasting any more time, Let's jump right in. So AI avatar videos save a ton of time and money because you don't need a spokesperson on camera and you don't need a bunch of expensive gear. And the best part is that you just type the text that you want your avatar to say and it gets it in one single flawless take. Unlike myself that has to go through the same script over and over again because I am terrible at recording videos. And so Synthesia saves you that time and gets rid of the expensive gear and it allows you to just, like I mentioned, type some text and get the flawless take from your avatar. And you can choose from over 240 different avatars. And while Synthesia will basically create most of the video for you with AI, you then have full creative control by changing and adding some text, music, animations, and so on. And you can actually get started for free. So if you click the link down below in the description, you'll be taken to Synthesia where you can create an account. And once you've done it, you'll be in this workspace right here. And let me show you exactly how it all works and so to get started the very first thing you want to do is click on a new video and in just a second I'm going to show you how to create from templates using their AI video assistant but I just want to show you some of the basics when I click start from blank and so when I click start from blank, I'm taken into a new blank project. And you'll notice that the layout of this video editor is a little different. And that is because Synthesia is designed to make video creation as easy and as accessible to anyone and everyone. And so the very first thing to get my avatar talking would be to type the script, or I can actually just drag and drop an audio file. What I'm gonna say for my script is, hello, my name is Alec. Okay, I'm gonna keep it simple. Then what I can do is click play to preview. Hello, my name is Alec. Now, you'll notice that we've got a voiceover, which I think sounds great, but you might have noticed that the avatar wasn't actually talking. And that is because the avatars don't actually generate until we click generate. And that is once we've finished the video. So we basically want to build our video. And then when we click generate at the end, we can then see the final result with the avatar talking, lip synced with movements, facial expressions, matching with the script. But if I wanted a different avatar, what I could do is just click on the current avatar I have and then click replace avatar. And here we have a wide selection of avatars to choose from. But let's say I wanted to find some women in a blue shirt, right? Because that's the spokesperson I wanted for my video. Using their search function, I then have a wide selection of female avatars in blue shirts. And this little purple icon right here just means that they are expressive avatars, meaning that their facial expressions will adapt and adjust depending on what's being said within the script. So I might just choose Ada. Now, the next thing is on the left over here, we have our scenes. And this is because our videos are built in scenes. Similar to how you would create a PowerPoint presentation, you can click to add a new scene and then we can start from a template or we can click from a blank page. Let's say I just choose this one to add this scene. And now everything here is customizable, but let me just preview it for you. Start your video by greeting your audience and introducing your topic. So as you can see here, the template's even giving us suggestions. And I do wanna mention that the voices often change with avatars, but if we actually want to go ahead and change the voice, we can just hover over here and change the voice right there. Now, everything on the presentation is customizable. So I might insert my video title. So let's say I'm calling this AI Avatars 101, and I'm gonna move this tagline up. That's customizable there, and I can even move the logo around. And now when I press play, Start your video by- As you can see, the text that I've made the changes to still has the animations from the templates. And you might want different animations, and it's actually very easy to do. We can just click on the asset, so let's say this title text, and if I want a different animation, on the right toolbar under here, I can change everything from the layout, its position, the font, the font size. I can even add some drop shadow if I want, and then adjust the shadow. Or at the bottom, I can adjust the animation. And so if I want it to come in at the beginning, I choose the beginning, but here I might want to add a trigger. And essentially a trigger will start the animation based on where you place the trigger on your script. So let's say I only want the title to come in when the uh, presenter, the avatar says audience, I click it. And as you can see, it's now added that move in right there. And so if I preview this from the beginning, 
Start your video by greeting your audience and introducing your topic. As you can see, the title now comes afterwards. You wouldn't necessarily want to do it in that order, but you get the picture. And then at the top here, we've actually got a bunch of different things we can add. And one of my favorite is Synthesia's actually got a bunch of cool, amazing looking backdrops that they call spaces to then place your avatar in. So if we were making our video within a nice little house right there, I could then just add that space, or maybe I prefer this one. And then I could then go in and actually change the font, maybe make it white so it stands out a little bit more, place it over here. You kind of get the idea, it's all customizable. But that's starting from a blank project. So if I go back to my workspace, I'm just gonna delete this video file. I'm gonna click on AI Video Assistant. And here, I'm actually accompanied through the video creation process thanks to the AI Video Assistant. And so there's actually four different ways you can begin creating your video. The first one, similar to what we were doing from a blank project, is you just have your script. So I could paste my entire video script in here and I could then start creating a video from that. If I don't even have a script, I could give Synthesia's AI Video Assistant my prompt so you can ask it to make a video about anything you want. Or if you had a blog post that you wanted to turn into a video, you could do that. Or if you actually have a file, like a PDF that already has your script on it or a PowerPoint presentation, you can actually import that here and Synthesia's AI will scan through the entire document and make a video from it. And for this case, I'm gonna keep it simple. I don't actually have a file to upload. And so I'm gonna use the prompt method and I just want a video about how to make YouTube thumbnails engaging. And below this, we have template. And so here, templates, we can browse the templates and essentially what we want our video to look like. And starting from a template is actually gonna save us a ton of time. And so let's take a look at this default template right here, or maybe this sleek corporate one. I actually really like this one. We can then preview what this template looks like. And if we're happy with it, we just click use template. And now we can see that selected. Below that, we have the brand kit and here, if you haven't already made a brand kit, I'm gonna show you how to make some in another video, but in the workspace, you can create your own custom brand kits with your specific fonts and your colors and even add your own logo. And so here I've just got Synthesia's brand kit selected, but essentially everything from the template in the video will be adapted to your personal brand or your company's brand, right? And that is why it's great to like build your brand kit. Below that, then we also have the length. And so if we just wanted this to be a short and sweet video, we can make it 30 seconds or we could even make it four minutes. And then below that, we've got a few different options that we can add if we wish. So for example, the audience, if I wanted to make it really clear that I was talking to YouTubers, I would just add YouTubers right here. The language, my prompt's in English, so it will most likely be in English, but I could make the video another language like French if I wanted to. And then the objective, I've put educate YouTubers about the power of thumbnails and how to make them more engaging. And then you can also add the tone, the speaker, you get the idea. But once you've done that, you then click create outline and then Synthesia goes ahead and creates an outline for your video, right? Not a script, an outline. And so here we can actually take a look at the video outline. And so we then go through this. I can change any of it if I don't like. So for an example, let's just see consistency and branding. If I don't wanna pay attention to this chapter, or if I don't like some of the bullet points, I could remove the bullet points, or I could actually just remove the entire chapter. And I can even add my own if I wanted to by clicking add new chapter. But once you are happy, and I'm not gonna go through and change all of this right now, but once you're happy and you've made the changes to your outline, you then click create video. And then from your outline, the template you've chosen, your brand kit and the prompt you've given it, it's then going to create an entire video project with scenes. So it creates the entire video for you. And so if I scroll back to the top here, as you can see, we've got our intro. Did you know that thumbnails can make or break your video success? That the first impression viewers get and a captivating thumbnail can significantly boost your click through rates. So that first of all is a great intro. That's something that I could say, but then we've also got the presenter and then it's got different layouts. So just to show you, if I click continue in editor, this project is then imported into Synthesia's editor that I was showing you earlier, and we can go ahead and preview it. Did you know that thumbnails can make or break your video's success? They're the first impression viewers get, and a captivating thumbnail can significantly- Let's say I really like this and I approve the script, but now I want to actually make a change. I could then just quickly highlight and make a change to captivating, and I could just make this word engaging, making an engaging thumbnail. Did you know that thumbnails can make or break your video's success? They're the first impression viewers get, 
and an engaging thumbnail can significantly boost your And a change just like that would not be possible or it would take a long time. You need to set up the camera, the lighting and everything again, but with AI avatars, it's as easy as just typing things in, which is honestly incredible. And so let's just go to scene two and let's preview this one. Thumbnails are more than just images. They're a gateway to your content. A well-designed thumbnail can intrigue viewers and encourage them to explore your video further. So as you can see, we've got like animations with nice little sleek, I don't know, motion to them with specific bullet points that are relevant to my script. And on the right side, I do want to mention that there is background music, but when we just preview scenes, we don't hear the music. But if I click on this play button, which is the preview video button on the top right, we can preview it with the music and it previews the entire video, but again, without the avatar mouth movements. Did you know that thumbnails can make or break your video success? They're the first impression viewers get. And so I think the music is quite cheesy. So what I'm going to do is I like typing in tech. Let's just do tech nostalgia. Yeah, I think this is a good one, a bit more chill. And then I just want to change all so it applies it to the entire video. And then you can go ahead and preview it again. Did you know that thumbnails can make or break your video success? They're the first impression viewers get and an engaging thumbnail can significantly boost your click-through rates. Thumbnails are more than just images. They're a gateway to your content. A well-designed- And you'll notice there that we even had the transitions between scenes. And then once you're happy with the video, all you do is click generate, right? But at the beginning of the video, I said, what if you want an avatar that looks like you? Well, very, very simple. Click on avatar. And at the top, we've got personal avatars, right? So you can record yourself at home and it just takes a few minutes. So we click on create and then we're taken to this page right here. And essentially this video walks you through about how to create your AI avatar. And the way it works is that Synthesia's AI will create a digital version of yourself that's only available to you. And all you have to do is give it a few minutes of recording of yourself talking to the camera. Now, obviously you want this to look as good as possible. So if you can have some good audio with a nice microphone, have some good lighting. If you want it to look really crisp, you could even record a video on a DSLR camera. Use your natural body language. Don't cover your face with everything or anything. And then make sure to smile and be positive. And so here, if we just click next, as you can see, we can either do it straight from the webcam or we can upload footage. So if I just do record yourself, here I am right now. And so I can check that the camera and microphone is working properly. I can change the source. So I've got the correct ones. So I think this looks good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do next. And here we have the script. And so I'm just gonna quickly move this off screen and so I actually just went through that process and now all I have to do is click submit recording and I can preview my recording. So let's just take a quick look. Join, Join me as, as we create, create my avatar. avatar. So I think that's pretty good. I want to check this box right here that just says that I ensure that the environment is quiet and well lit and that I've maintained eye contact with the camera and that the voice is clear throughout the recording. So I just select that and then I click next. And I'm not gonna choose to remove background because I want my avatar to basically have the background that my videos are recorded in, right? So people are familiar with it. And then I just click next. And now here, I've just got to record my consent. So I'm gonna start recording. My name is Alec. <laughs> Done. And then I just give my biometric consent, submit the recording, and now the footage is being uploaded. And once you've done that, Synthesia then processes your avatar. And once it's ready, it should be in your workspace and you can use it as a custom avatar to create videos. And that is how to create realistic AI avatar videos with Synthesia that will save you a ton of time and money. And here's mine for the outro. I'm Alex Avatar. Hopefully you know now how to make your own custom avatars or you're just using Synthesia's high quality built-in avatars. Either way, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful and want to see more, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.